Hello everyone, welcome to the Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. Well, I've gone through the seed bank here. Uh, that's the bag we keep our seeds in. I had forgotten we had so many and uh, such a variety. Uh, we've got a lot to choose from here. We're going to replant about two-thirds of the garden. Not all of it, because I want to I want to keep some available for uh, new fish tanks if we ever get to that point. These are these are some of our options here. Now we've got these. I don't know what kind of a melon this is here. It's some something that we bought locally. But I also have some of these uh, cantaloupes. Now I've never seen an exact cantaloupe here. Uh, there may be something uh, there may be something involved in growing them here that is not conducive uh, to their growth but I'm going to try some I've got these here also they're um, these are these are like a cross between a a uh, Crenshaw and a um, cantaloupe and they're pretty tasty we also got a few melons here that we're going to plant around the garden. Uh, what are these? These are don't know the name of them. These are Charleston Grays. Uh, these here are some kind of a yellow uh, meated. Uh, don't know what these are. Those are. We're going to plant those as well. And we also have some uh, pumpkins here. Uh, Queensland Blues. Uh, these are some kind of a melon in this packet here. I don't know what they are. These are sweeter yet. I think these are uh, a cantaloupe and uh, these are more Hale's Best here in this little packet. These were all seeds that were sent to us except for uh, the stuff that the, the Ramco seeds. Uh, those are ones that we had here. Uh, I can't remember who sent, who sent us these but it's been so long. Some of these are two or three years old. I uh, hope we still get a good germination. Because we have the bees now, I'm going to try squash again. We have I, oh, and I found a I found a packet of just regular old uh, American pumpkins. These are a squash. Um, because we have the bees now, I'm going to try squash again. We haven't had any luck with squash before because of the pollination issues. Um, we got some butternuts here that we're going to try. Uh, more butternut. These are all butternuts here. Uh, this is. These are actually a local seed. Now I've tried these here before, and they didn't do any good. Again, because of pollination, they're they're a uh, hybrid zucchini. I think they're just a yellow uh, zucchini. I <laughs> look at this pack of seeds here. These are all zucchinis. Um, I don't know, there's there's 20 or 30 packs here. I forgot we had so many of those. I haven't been planting them because uh, we just couldn't, we planted them before two different times and the squash would get about as big as your little finger and then fall off and that's a pollination issue. And um, the cotton beetles got into the plants and the ants and just made it almost, you know, it's just impossible to grow them. I even tried them in pots and it still didn't work. I've got a, another couple of varieties of zucchini here. Might all be the same, but uh, I've got plenty of zucchini to plant. I was going to buy some more corn seed, but it turns out we have plenty. I have four different packs of corn here. You should go over with the squashes. This is a local, um, some kind of a local squash. Uh, that's going to go in with these. Uh, I don't know about these beans. I don't know what all we're going to plant of these. I'm going to I'm going to go through them with Marcel, and just get a, get a few packs of each because we're we're limited on space now. Um, but we'll, we're going to get a good many of these planted. We but I want to do that. I wanted to get the seeds out, get them sorted through, and then go through them again. And this is just the first stage. After this, we've got to get all our seedling trays ready. And we've got a couple kinds of hot peppers here. Now, I, I have had fairly good success with bell peppers here. And uh, this is an Anaheim chili here. 
but these are uh, California Wonders. And this is just a, you know, this one is just a, a little pack of 25 seeds, but this one is a quarter ounce, and there's hundreds, if not thousands, of seeds in this one. And uh, we've also got jalapeno peppers here, and I'm a big fan of jalapenos. Uh, it's like my favorite hot pepper. Uh, and again, we have uh, two little small packs here. These are probably the ones that we'll plant. And we have, again, uh, a one-quarter ounce packet of them here. Really happy with those. Uh, we've got several different kinds of onions here. Uh, you know, I miss, I miss large onions. These red onions, when they get big, um, see what I have, we have an example here of what is... We don't. Well, yeah, we do. we got one left here. This is an example of the kind of onions that you get here. And you can see by the size of that, um, and they're, you know, they might, you might find them twice this size uh, if you're lucky. Uh, but there, there's just not a lot of large red onions available here. I like them when they're really big, when they're at least as big as your fist, if not bigger. Because they get a little hot uh, when they get bigger like that. And we've got several different kinds here. This is the local. Uh, we got these seeds here locally. The, those are those smaller variety. I would assume these here are a larger one and these ruby onion seeds here as well what is this little guy here I don't know this is some kind of a melon this is some kind of a watermelon I can tell by looking at the seed so I'll put the, that's supposed to be up there with those guys we've got onions and leeks here uh, I'm gonna plant some of those some radishes Marcel tried some radishes but uh, we didn't get any rain for a while and she didn't water them so I don't think they did real well. And this is another little packet of radishes here. So we had plenty of those. We've got some dill. Uh, I would like to eventually uh, uh, do some of my own pickles. And uh, dill and uh, oh, what's the other? I can't remember what the, the other main spice is for pickles. Uh, it'll come to me probably when I, when I finish this video. Uh, these chives are going to go here with the onions. I've got some beets here. I love pickled beets. I'm going to try some of those. I don't know if we've ever tried beets, um, but I'm going to try some. We have an assortment of carrots. We've got a lot of carrot seeds. And we, we have planted carrots, and they did not great. Uh, our soil here is, is such a heavy clay that all these root, all these root crops here, the onions, the carrots, uh, are going to struggle. Uh, we're going to uh, put extra compost in, extra rice holes, extra composted rice holes where we're going to plant these and work it into the soil to try to loosen it up some uh, so that these uh, root crops here can do a little more better. Uh, got these cucumbers here, just a few. Don't know how well these are going to germinate. And these are, we got these a couple years ago. I think we planted some of these and none of them ever came up. I've got some mandarin orange seeds here. I'm going to try those again. And believe it or not, these are pistachio seeds. And I think I tried some of these before and they didn't come up. We'll try those again. Um, Crimson Sweet, this goes up with the watermelons. Um, we've got these, and they're, they just call them a blue watermelon. I would doubt seriously if they're, if the flesh is blue, you never know, could be. I've got three little packs of those, we're going to try some of those. Guys, honestly, I don't know what this is. You guys can read that. It's Phyllostachys heterocycla, I don't know. Uh, I don't recognize the seed, I have no idea what they are, they just look like little strips of bark to me. Uh, if anybody knows what these are, let me know. Um, and uh, for those of you who are German speakers, this looks like some kind of a berry uh, from the picture, but I don't know what I don't know what that says. Uh, again, if someone knows, leave it leave a comment. Got a little hot pepper here we might plant. I'm not gonna, you know, the tomatoes here just don't do well. And I'm, I'm just about tired of fighting them, but we, our best luck, our best success has been with cherry tomatoes. 
And so we're going to try a few of those. These We're getting down into the, I, I had set these out as well. I have grown beef steaks here. Uh, and if you can call a beef steak this big a beef steak, um, <laughs> it tasted like a beef steak. It just wasn't nearly the size of what you would expect. Now we're getting down into the flowers now. Uh, I, this one here just looks, looks like baby's breath to me. I don't know what it is. Uh, these are a daisy, I think. Yep. Shasta daisy. We're planting. We're going to plant these for the mainly for the bees. Uh, to give them something to do. we got some nasturtiums here. Um, we've got a lot of marigolds uh, and these are, these are important. This is a little packet of marigolds here. Uh, we're going to plant a ton of these. I'm going to plant all these marigolds and in, in trays and in pots and however we can do it and then transplant them because that's, our, that's really our only defense here, our only natural defense against the bugs and we're going to plant them thick and uh, hopefully they'll help us out. Again, more flowers. Uh, wildflower pollinator. Uh, you can see there's actually a little bee on that one, so I'm, I'm, I'm thinking the bees will love them. And uh, these look almost like a morning glory. I don't know, in, in potines, I have no idea. Um, again, I think the bees will dig those. Uh, Again, don't know what that is. I'm not going to try to pronounce it. Uh, anybody who can who can figure that out, go for it. Uh, just more uh, tomatoes that I'm not going to mess with. Now, that's for the garden. That's just for our personal use up here. Uh, I'm going to do a separate video on our plans for these. And uh, you guys might think I'm crazy. Um, and you're a little bit right, probably. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to do a separate video on those. So we're going to uh, do some soil prep today. It's, it stopped raining. It, it actually rained. I, you know, I had left in the video that I made before that it only rained for about uh, 20, 25 minutes. It, it, it did rain for 20 minutes and stopped for like five minutes and started again. So, so we've actually got about, I don't know, three or four hours of decent rain. Um, not enough to affect the drought that's starting again in any way, but it helps. And I'm not complaining at all. So uh, I'm going to get out and do a little soil prep. And uh, we'll, we'll get a bunch of these in the ground tomorrow. We've got stuff we've got to do this afternoon. We have to go out to the shrimp pond. So I just wanted to get these all um, sorted out and set out. Uh, that that took a, an hour. Uh, so I'm going to go over with Maricel exactly uh, what she wants to plant and how much of it. And hopefully we won't do too much arguing and uh, we can get a bunch of these started. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.